Hey everybody, it's Paul from Screen Night Inscribe. Today I have a special treat for all you Mac users out there. I found a free software that uh, works pretty well. It does use Fountain, which is a way of creating a screenplay, and I have a video talking about what Fountain is and how it works down in the comment section below so you can download that. But you'll be able to see as we go through this uh, video uh, what the software looks like, how to use it, and maybe uh, if you're just trying out screenwriting and you have a Mac, give this a try before you buy any screenwriting software. So let's take a look into our, our featured uh, screenwriting software today, which is called Beat. Okay, let's take a look through Beat. The first thing you're gonna notice is sort of the, the different menus that you can have. Let's take a look at them real briefly. Um, so you have about Beats, you have the settings, uh, and file. Uh, you can use a new template. Uh, they have a couple different templates you can use. You can use a one-page synopsis, a three-act outline, a uh, comic book, and they do have the tutorial outline, which we'll actually go through here uh, pretty briefly so you can see what Fountain looks like. And it's a little different. It takes a little bit of use, getting used to using Beat, uh, but it can be a very powerful software. So we have your edit function, format. Again, we're not in anything, so we can't I'll talk about each of these elements once we actually get into the screenplay. Uh, you have a screenplay view. The other thing that I want to talk about is plugins. So there's a lot of different plugins that you can get for Beat. Um, so here's a couple different ones. Uh, a character name database, uh, clean extra spaces, which is basically um, extra spaces at the end of all lines. Now the cool thing that you should you can get too is, is a outliner. And you can take a look at here. Uh, a flexible time outliner for navigating, structuring, and editing your screenplay. So you can take a look at this, and this is a free uh, plugin that you can get. Uh, as far as I know, it doesn't say it costs anything, so I'm assuming that it's free. Another thing that you'll notice is you can, uh, a couple things are already enabled in here when you first load it in. I have the find the longest scene, gather scenes by color, index card view. Uh, you can gather, gather, or you can try some other things too, like gathering scenes by heading. Then you have windows, uh, again, some zoom features, minimizing, getting to where you need to go. And under help, they have a beat manual, a tutorial, patch notes, uh, support beat. Again, this is free. Uh, you can always support the uh, designer for this. I believe it's just a, a one person show. Um, so you can always support beat uh, and go into that. They do have a discord community as well too. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is actually look at, uh, I uploaded the tutorial. because I think it's important to look at the tutorial. So the, title beat tutorial written by uh, this particular person uh, you can get a hold of them at these particular addresses there as well too uh, this file is a play a playground file for you to mess around with more detailed instructions uh, consult the user manual which is accessible through the help menu again we showed that up here help and there's the beat manual if you need that In beat you don't need to press any special keys to write a dialogue or a scene header just simply type interior school or exterior park on a new line and it'll become a scene header so you can try it out for yourself it's pretty easy the same is true with dialogue just type in a character name all in caps and then follow it with a dialogue block or parenthetical on the next line and it will become dialogue so again you can just so you just type in all capital letters and it'll automatically format it to the correct character or to to this particular format and then uh, all you have to do is you just hit enter and it bring you down to the next lines. If you need to add it in parentheticals, just do the, the parentheses right there. You can also press the tab key to force a character queue and not worry about writing in all caps. So basically when you hear force, it's telling the software what to do. So if you want to do tab, you can force a character queue, meaning you can, if you hit the tab key on your keyboard, it'll automatically create a new character saying something. After one empty line break, the format will change back to, to action. So Beats automatically adds two line breaks after certain elements unless you tell it not to. So again, you need to go to Format and Automatic Paragraph Breaks. I know some people don't want as much space in their screenplays, and so this is one way you can fix that. You can also use transitions just by typing out something in all caps and ending it with a colon like this. So if you say Cut To, it'll automatically... So it'll start over here, but when you type it in and hit Return, it'll format it over here. Um, so they're going to be, this is probably a little harder to see. Uh, this is a note. It won't be printed or exported, so don't worry this way. You can add longer comments and omit scenes. Oh, and check out the private print preview. Click either by clicking on the eye icon, uh, file toggle preview, or by pressing uh, this particular combination. So, uh, so the eye icon is right up here. So we can look at that. And then you can sort of see what it looks like in terms of screenwriting 
uh, format so you'll be able to see how the screen writing format looks and then simply just click out of that to get out of that screen so uh, this is a new section again you have the hashtag key so uh, you can use sections and synopsis as above to help structure your stories uh, they won't be printed out so don't worry so if you do something hashtag and you write something behind it that will not be printed in uh, to the uh, into your draft take a look at the outline view top left view or command D and see how the structure is laid out in index cards top right card icon or uh, up command D is a resource for visualizing and laying out your story beats so um, so you can take a look at over here um, let's see it's the top left token so this is sidebar so it opens up your sidebar you can close your sidebar if you want by just clicking on it again you can take a look uh, in terms of looking at this from sort of an outline perspective it's telling you which is a new section so you can do that as well too uh, so there's that outline view um, you can also uh, top right card icon here's cards so all I did for that was again I went up to this section right here right next to the eyeball and then hit that and I have my cards here so we can move those cards around as well too as we look uh, stylizing your script if you use a note at the first paragraph it will show up as a description of the scene in this index card view now text formatting can be done with the usual commands used in any software uh, command B command I because B uses fountain markup language so again I have that video linked below some strange characters will show up on the screen but don't worry they won't print out it's just basically a formatting language uh, basically text formatting works so that any anything inside dual asterisks is bolded and single asterisks makes it italic you can also underline stuff using underscores you can also force any element when it's not recognized automatically take a look at the format menu press this particular alt enter to quickly force an, an element type and try it now so we'll try so we have alt enter so i'm going to hit let's see if i can do that here So I just hit Alt Enter and this thing comes up here and that I can scroll here here and pick whatever particular action I want it to take. Text can be centered by centering it with this and this. There you go, there's your center text. Transitions can be forced using a single bloop for surprisingly low transition. So basically you're just adding this and it's causing this particular transition to be put in. Again, if you, you could also use the um, colon as well too as we saw up earlier. Uh, let me see if I can find that again right here you can use the colon and that also gives you a transition as well too uh, so if you're curious it does actually do do dialogue and other special elements so if you can see the color of your scene by just typing it out as above or by right clicking a scene either in any of the other views um, double dialogue or dual dialogue can be written by adding a uh, up symbol after a character name uh, and so then you'll have those two characters speaking at the same time and again you can sort of see how they uh, created a blue and a red and again that's if you want that in your screenplay that's fine you can here's how to do lyrics uh, and there's more to dive into such as reviews uh, try selecting a range and then pressing uh, command R revision select a range and press command K and uh, option um, command k to remove it and plugins which extend the functionality of beats to the plugin library under tools which we already did um, so marker you can add marks to indicate parts that need work on is intention marker pink this is a pink marker so basically like i said you can sort of see all the different things that you can do uh, this is basically the programming language for beat so now like I said it's a little different it's a little different than what you see in traditional software there will be different markups because we're using the fountain script writing language so again if you're looking at beat here you can take a look this is an actual script that uh, I basically loaded in first uh, you can select between a couple different templates I select the three act uh, structure template and you can go through here and uh, read about how this particular works um, again you can just type in where you want to type in uh, I can go in here and type actually I did go in here and already type already the force is quiet too quiet it's in the middle of the winter and the wind isn't even blowing so this is actually I've already entered this in already um, just to show you how easy it is again so 
let's just create a scene here. So all I'm going to do is exterior house. Um, and I just type the character name. Oops. Just hit enter to select it. I noticed that I can't, I tried clicking it with my mouse, but it didn't work so much. So I just clicked enter and that made it work. So there we go. So it's really pretty easy to go through. And like I said, everything's all set up for you. Um, and then we can look later on and sort of see this is what actually shows up on the printed page versus all this other stuff that we do not see. So that is beat. So what do you think? Do you want to give it a try? Uh, it seems to be a really good uh, screenwriting program, especially for free. Uh, again, if you like Fountain, have used Fountain in the past, I would definitely give this one a try and look-see. Or if you just want to try to try something new and you have a Mac, um, give this one a, a look-see. Give it a try. Um, and as long as it gets you writing, that's the most important software that you can use. Well, until the next video, live well and write well.